Okay, Fight Fans, this is officially the last show of 2021. So we did something special for you. And by the way, don't drink too much tonight. But we gather all of the DAZN talent, and we're going to make sure each and every one of them give you the fight that they want to see most in 2022. So I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to start with Vasily Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson. That's the fight I want to see, folks. Listen, yes, I want to see the Terrence Crawford versus Spence. I want to see Joshua versus Fury. All of those fights, Cambosis versus Haney. But this particular fight is the most intriguing for me because it's taking me back to 2017, December 9th, when Guillermo Riggin now was supposed to give Vasily Lomachenko a run for his money. Two of the best amateurs that ever lived, four Olympic gold medals among those guys, and it was anticlimactic. I was not happy with what Guillermo Reagan now delivered that night. But for some reason, I feel like Shakur Stevenson will execute and will deliver what I didn't get that night. He has the skill, the speed, the size, and what we saw from Vasily Lomachenko, he hasn't skipped a beat. When he fought Kome, he looked like vintage Lomachenko. So right now, at this point in those guys' career, I think we're going to get one of the most interesting chess matches, but aggressively. It's not going to be a snoozer. It's not going to be a fight that's going to put you to sleep. In my opinion, it's going to be the most intriguing fight of 2022. If it happens, this is a fantasy fight. I don't know. I want to see tons of fight, but I had to pick one, and this is the one that I'm picking. Vasily Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson at 135. Lightweight. Barack, give me yours. Yeah, that's a good one, Ock. Uh, but I'm sorry. Mine right here is going to be the fight that's wanted by so many that it's become a cliche. And that is Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. And, and the reason why I think this should be everybody's uh, wish list for 2022 is because hardly ever do you have two fighters in their prime, both on the pound for pound list at the same time, simultaneously fight each other, both undefeated. I mean, we got to go all the way back to Trinidad versus Oscar De La Hoya back in 1999, where Oscar De La Hoya um, was like nine years into his career, or seven years into his career. Trinidad was nine years into his career. They were both undefeated. Oscar De La Hoya was 31 and 0. Trinidad was 35 and 0. They both had around the same amount of uh, KO percentage, just like Bud and and Spence. They both around 77, 76 KO percentage both on the pound for pound list one of the best fighters in the world this is why we have to see before anything can happen before we start seeing a decline now the difference is is that T terrence has about 13 years by that time he'll have 13 years in the game and spencer have nine years in the game so we might be getting closer to where they uh might uh suffer some kind of decline and that we don't want to see and that's why i say that's my fight for 2022. Ade, cross the pond, you're up next. What's your fight? Cheers, Breck. Uh, that's a good one, right? Spence versus Crawford. Everyone wants to see that in 2022, don't they? Fingers crossed it can happen. My fight that I am desperate to see, you know, I'm gonna take it a bit British. Nothing beats a domestic dust-up, does it? I'm going to the light heavyweight division where we have so many contenders, but for me, I need to see Anthony Yard versus Joshua Boazzi. Anthony Yard coming off that really good win against Lyndon Arthur a couple of weeks ago. Boatsy coming off the win against Balotniks. It was supposed to happen or rumored to happen a couple of years ago. Uh, unfortunately, Anthony Yard lost to Kovalev and Boatsy had his injuries. Now, now they're like that. They're there, they're ready to go, they're right. And funny thing is, I saw them at a fight. They went kind of nose to nose. They both want it, we both want it. Please, the boxing gods, give it to us. It is a really good light heavyweight division, but I think these two could be number one and number two. I want to find out who's number one. So for me, my fight of 2022 is Joshua Bawatsi versus Anthony Yard. All right, your time, Tony. Uh, what about yours? What's your fight of 2022? Adi, thank you. I'm going to stick with the light heavyweights. Guys, the fight I want to see in 2022 is Sal Canelo Alvarez against the monster that is Arto Beterbeev. I want to see this because I don't feel like the light heavyweight division has been fully cleaned out yet. There's still some dangerous operators in there and I feel Canelo, I think he can beat them, but I think they're very, very dangerous as well. Live, active opponents with huge punches. So that's my fight for 2022. Chris Mannix, over to you. What do you want to see? 
All right, thanks, Tony. Now, what fight do I want to see in 2022? What fight do I find interesting? What fight do I find compelling? Oh, yeah, it's Jamal Charlo against Demetrius Andrade, middleweight title unification fight. The fact that this fight has not been made yet is embarrassing for American boxing. I don't always agree with everything my UK counterparts say, but I will agree with something I've heard frequently over there, which is if these were two British fighters undefeated in the same weight class, they would have fought by now. Demetrius Andre and Jamal Charlo have been circling each other for three years. Demetrius Andre won his title in October of 2018, and he has been begging for a fight against Charlo ever since. Now, people laugh at me and say, this isn't the biggest fight in boxing. It's not even one of the biggest fight in fights in boxing. Maybe you're right. But how often do you get two undefeated fighters in this weight class, a glamorous weight class, that can go up against each other, make a ton of money, and be in a meaningful fight? Charlo has an excellent jab and underrated power. Demetrius Andre is a slick boxer with underrated power. The styles will mesh. And if these two guys can find their way into the ring, the winner will take a massive step forward and put himself as a front runner for any of the big fights at 160 or 168 pounds. This fight is almost past its expiration date. At some point, one or both of these fighters are gonna move up. At some point, one or both of these fighters are going to get beat. This fight needs to happen sooner rather than later. Andrade versus Charlo. Now, to a guy who I hope never fights again, Sergio Mora. All right, curmudgeon, or I should call you Scrooge. Chris Mannix, thank you very much. But I'll tell you what's on my wish list, my Christmas list is Josh Taylor, Teofimo Lopez, for Teofimo to get another crack at all the belts and undisputed in a, in a weight division that he's gonna be comfortable in. He's not gonna dry out at lightweight anymore. He's gonna go up against a beast, another guy with chip on his shoulder, with speed, with power, with that fight IQ. It makes perfect sense for this fight in 2022, in my opinion. That's the perfect fight. So if they can do it across the pond, the more the merrier. Styles make fights, we all know that. And whenever you get two mean, power punching, fight, high fight IQ guys, I mean, it's gonna be dynamite. So Nick, Pete, tell me what's on your mind. Thank you, the Latin snake. Well, there's only one fight on my lips and that's the heavyweights and it's the big boys. I wanna know who is cock of the walk? Who's the best heavyweight on the planet today? Which means I want to see Mr. Tyson Fury and Mr. Alexander Usyk go at it. Not later in the year, not after a semi-final one against AJ, one against, doesn't matter. I want the final now. I want to know now who the best heavyweight in the world is. I don't know whether it means brown envelopes, step aside money or anything, I don't care. As a fan, I need to find that out and I want to know sooner rather than later. Fury versus Usyk, either in the UK or in the Ukraine or in Vegas or in Saudi Arabia or even on the moon. I want that fight next. Nothing else will satisfy my desire to find out who the baddest man in the planet is in 2022. Over to you, Adam. I can't believe you've just done that. That was mine. However, I've got a second one to back it up. There's been a lot of talking in the lightweight division recently. There's only one guy doing the walking. The young guns have misfired, the Ukrainian didn't. He put on an absolute clinic in Madison Square Garden against Richard Comey. George Cambosas did the job against Teofimo Lopez and he says, I want to fight the best guys. Well, Mr. Cambosas, the best guys just happen to be the Matrix. Can you unlock it? That's the fight that I want to see. If you look down the list of the potential fights that he could take in Australia, because that's where he wants to do it in front of a piped out stadium, you'd look at Devin Haney, You'd look at Tank, not a cat in hell's chance because Floyd Mayweather's got him behind lock and key. And then you look at some of the other contenders, they just don't stack up. If you're looking for money, if you're looking for challenge, if you're looking for the best guys, bring Vasyl Lomachenko to Australia and get it locked down for everything at lightweight. That's the fight that I want to see in 2022. Todd Grisham, beat that. 
Hey, thanks, Adam. I'm going to stay in that 135 pound division as well. You know, you got the four kings, you got the emperor Cambosis. You could throw all those names in a hat, shake it up, and any two fighters you pull out would be a great fight. But if you ask me, the one I want to see, Ryan Garcia against Gervonta Tank Davis. In my opinion, they're the most exciting fighters, they're the most unpredictable fighters, and they're the most popular fighters. They could sell out any stadium in this country, and I think if they did fight, we could get a lot of crossover appeal. In boxing, we need to bring in fans from other sports. We need to be inclusive. People complain about about uh, the Paul brothers, Jake and Logan, but you know what? They're bringing in new fight fans. Let's have two real, legitimate fighters like these guys fight, and that's going to get so many eyeballs on this sport, and it's going to be a hell of a fight, and I don't know who would win it, but I'd sure love to see it. And right now, let's send it to a man that could maybe make that fight. What do you say? Here's Eddie Hearn. The fight that must get made in 2022. George Cambosas against Devin Haney for the real undisputed lightweight world championship. George Cambosas, you are my hero. Jim Cambosas, you are also my hero. It's time for you to make history in Australia with the undisputed lightweight world championship. Myself, Devin and Bill, we have the bags packed, ready to join you. Let's get it made. For everyone out there, thanks for your support. This year, 2021, we had 44 shows in 10 different countries. Next year, 2022, we're taking it to new levels. 50 plus, right at you on the zone. Can't wait. See you soon.